So everybody, what are we looking for? Again, read that question first, the question sentence. What is it that we're looking for? Right, we're looking for the smaller number. Okay, cool. So right there, what is the smaller number? So is it all right with you guys if like the previous question or similar questions, I've been using A and B for the two numbers. Is that okay? Cool, so let's go ahead and try that out. Let's go ahead and say we have A and B. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use these openly. Let's see what's going on. So we have here, it says two numbers add up to 50. Okay, so if I'm saying two numbers add up to 50, is it okay if I say A plus B equals 50? Is that safe? Okay, cool, we got some traction going. Uh, up next, we have this sentence that's gonna be saying, their difference is two. What are we referring to? What, 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 what is difference? What does that mean? Thank you, Lambda. Difference refers to subtraction, minus. That means that one number minus the other number, that's two. And last bad part of people, just like this free video that you're watching, I have more free materials for you, and there's no excuse for you not to get them. I have a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake. And on top of that, I have a free class on Zoom once a week, every single week for two hours. So imagine that. You got more free materials than just this YouTube video right over here. Let's keep pushing forward. Sign up right now and I'll see you in the next class. Let's get started. So everybody, is it okay if I write it like this? If I say, uh, you know, I'm gonna highlight this in green. Um, and I, is it okay if I write A minus B equals two. Is that fair? Their difference, if you subtract them, you get two. Okay, cool. So I, I hope that you guys are starting to see the difference or, or the, the distinguishment between those two things that I've been talking about. When it comes to word problems, there are two main things you're doing. Number one, hey, can I translate the English into math? Number two, now that I set it up, can I actually do the math? Can I actually do it? So here's another system of equations. The way that this would actually be solved is not gonna be like we did in the previous question where we substituted. In this question, actually, we can do what's called elimination. And if you think about the word elimination, eliminate means when you take something out, when you remove something. And so here's what that looks like. Everyone, let's zoom in here. In case you didn't know, yes, you can add equations. You can. And watch what happens when you do this. Let me add these two equations together. Everyone, take a look here. What is A plus A going to be? What's that going to be, everybody? What's A plus A? Oh, that's going to be 2A. Okay, uh, what's going to happen if we have a positive B minus B? What's B minus B going to be? Yeah, it's going to cancel out. It's going to cancel out. And then what's left is, well, what's 50 plus 2? 52. Okay, let's see if we can figure out what A is. If it's 2A equals 52... Well, it kind of looks like I got to divide two on both sides, right? Is that what I'm supposed to do now? That's right, divide both sides by two. And we got ourselves A. A equals 26. But everybody, just like I said before, you know, just because we got 26 when we calculated, is that the final answer? Nope, 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 nope. We got to check. We got to see what the other number is going to be. And so making it this far in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's safe to assume that you like the way I teach. And that's the truth for a lot of folks here. So if you wanna learn more about my program where you can get all of my practice questions, including 15,000 that'll help you succeed with step-by-step -step solutions, a lot of them having video solutions, then go ahead and reach out to me. My phone number is 567-698-8867. Go ahead and reach out to me. That way you're not stuck in the same loop that so many people are stuck in with retaking the ASVAB over and over again when the solution to getting a higher score is right here in front of your face.
Again, go ahead and text me, ask me about my full program, or click the link in the description to learn more about it. But at the end of the day, sign up, get the score you want, and that job you deserve. We have to know what it's going to be because if we don't know what the other number is, then we could make the mistake of calling that the smaller number. Could make that mistake. And honestly, you can just go ahead and use either one of these equations. Either one works. Either one works. Yeah, I can just go ahead and use the top one to make life easy because we got A is 26. So that's 26 plus B equals 50. Everyone, if I wanted to get B by itself, what do I do to both sides? Landa, that's correct. Right, that's right, Jesse. We would subtract 26 from both sides. So in doing that, minus 26, minus 26, cancel that out. And we have B equals, what's 50 minus 26? 24. So look at that. We have two numbers here. Which one is the smaller number? Because again, it says smaller number. Which one's the smaller one? That's going to be 24. My party people, as always, thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you can see all the updates that we come out with so you can keep improving. So don't wait, subscribe now. And then while you wait for the next video, look here or there to see a related video that's going to help you improve even more. Let's keep raising that score and let's get the job we want. I'll see you soon.